and welcome to my kitchen. Another episode of What's for Dinner. This one's going to qualify as a help them in a hurry. It's super easy and it looks really delicious. I was inspired to make this because I kind of didn't want to do a whole lot of cooking tonight and I remembered that my friend Cat's Cradle, oh, around June, maybe six months ago or so, had done this um, dish where she did some baked Italian eggs and she was inspired by Chef John at Food Wishes. Well, I'm going to kind of do my own take on this with what I have in the house because um, I think I want mine a little bit saucier than hers were. So we're going to make baked eggs Italiano and it's going to be great and I'm going to serve them over some sourdough toast and that's what we're going to have for supper. It's really simple. But what we're going to start with is um, I'm going to go ahead and spray my baking dish. This is just a 9 by 13 baking dish. And I've preheated my oven to 325 degrees. I'm going to use a jar of pasta sauce. And I'm also going to use a can of diced tomatoes because I want mine to be a little saucier than um, cat's cradles were. Let me grab a wooden spoon over here just so I can get that a good swish up. We tend to like a bit more sauce. Um, sometimes, I mean, like, um, I don't know, in most dishes, I, I like gravy. I like to have a good amount of sauce. If, if something is supposed to be saucy, mm -hmm. I like sauce, you know. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, I'm going to put eight eggs in here. Let's see. Let's see if I can make it like rest right inside. It'll make a little divot. Hmm? I don't know how good it'll work, but we'll see, huh? And I also love this idea because you know, everybody has eggs in the house. So if you haven't planned anything for dinner or you're just too tired to deal with anything, sometimes we have to go with what we got and we almost always everybody I know has a jar of tomato sauce spaghetti sauce whatever you want to call it and eggs in the house right so you can make it eight. Hmm? oh sure I will you just gotta be creative Oops. There we go. Eight eggs in tall order. That's good. All right. Now, <clears throat> we're also going to put on a bit of whipping cream. And you don't have to use cream. You can use a little milk, but whipping cream is a little bit better. I always have cream in the house. And this is just going to make this sauce a little bit richer and a little creamy. I'm going to go ahead and put over some cracked black pepper, and this is almost the same way that Kat's made hers. Um, the only difference is I think that I'm going to go ahead and add some basil to mine, and she didn't put that in hers. And I use spaghetti sauce, and she used pizza sauce, so it's not all that different. I have not watched um, Chef John's version, but I'm sure it's just as delicious. I enjoy him. If you've not ever watched him, you should go check him out. I'll put a link to his channel. He's fantastic. I believe he's a professional caterer. And I'm going to put a little of my salt. This is the Himalayan pink salt. And we're going to go ahead and pop this in the oven and we're going to bake it. I am going to put it in the oven initially for 20 minutes um, and we're going to keep an eye on it. We don't want those yolks to go hard, okay? And that's going to bubble and it's going to, that sauce is going to cook up over the eggs and it's going to be delicious. I can't wait to eat it because I think it's going to be great. We're going to make some toast and when we come back we're going to serve you some baked eggs Italiano. Okay, our eggs are done and I've kept a close eye on them and they've been in the oven about 25 minutes. Okay, I didn't want them to, I didn't want the yolks to uh, over get overcooked. 
and we've got plenty of sauce so you know our goal there has been uh, achieved so now we have to extract them from their saucy little So you basically have poached these eggs in this lovely tomato sauce. I think this looks lovely. All right, let's bring it on over. You pair that with a green salad. You can throw some bacon on the side or a slice of Canadian bacon and you're good to go. So. Easy baked uh, eggs, Italiano, baked Italian eggs, whatever you want to call it. Basically from what you have on hand in your pantry and your fridge, perfect. You don't have to get fancy with the sourdough or Italian bread. You can just use plain white toast. Whatever you have on hand, it doesn't matter. So I hope that you try it. I hope that you love it. And thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. And until next time, I'll see ya.